Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. I've been a teacher, designer, and author in the craft industry for over 15 years. In this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks for making one of the projects from my brand new book, 52 Crochet Gifts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Elise beaded doily. A, a doily is a thoughtful housewarming gift or a beautiful addition to a holiday table. Beads add an extra festive touch to the scalloped border. We'll be using one ball of Be So Fine yarn, which is 100% bamboo yarn, number one fingering weight. And we're also going to be using an E4 or 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Let's get started. We start by tying our yarn to our crochet hook and a, making a chain five. Slip stitch to the fifth chain from your hook to form a ring. And round one begins with a chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. And we're going to work 15 additional double crochets into the chain five ring. Yarn over, insert your hook in the chain five ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and com continue repeating that until we have a total of 16 double crochets in the ring. At the end of the round, we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what the end of round one should look like. Round two begins with a chain seven, which counts as a double crochet chain four. We're just going to skip the first stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. chain four, skip the next stitch, and double crochet in the next stitch. And we'll repeat that all the way around. At the end of the round, we finish with a chain four, and then you want to slip stitch to the third chain of the beginning chain seven, that counts as the top of the double crochet portion of that chain seven space. And that's what the end of round two should look like. Round three begins with slip stitching into the first chain four space, chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and five double crochets in that same chain four space. Then we'll work six double crochets in the next chain four space and in each chain four space around. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and we'll repeat that all the way around. At the end of round three, slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. This is what the end of round three should look like. Round four begins with a chain seven, which counts as a double crochet chain four. We're gonna skip the next three stitches and, and double crochet in the space before the next stitch. chain four, skip the next three stitches, and double crochet in the space before the next stitch. Chain four, skip the next three stitches, and double crochet in the space before the next stitch. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. At the end of round four, we finish with a chain four and then slip stitch to the third chain of the beginning chain seven, which counts as the top of the double crochet portion of it. Round five begins with a slip stitch into the first chain four space, chain three, which counts as a double crochet and five double crochets in the same chain four space.
and three double crochets in the next chain four space. A repeat for this round is six double crochets in the next chain four space. and three double crochets in the next chain four space. And so our repeat for the round is six double crochets in the next chain four space, and then three double crochets in the next chain four space. And you wanna repeat that all the way around. At the end of the round, we'll slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And that's what the end of round five should look like. Round six is a repeat of round four. We're going to repeat round six and seven five more times, and then round six once more. Uh, if you are going to modify this pattern in any way, the good news is we need a multiple of six chain four spaces for the edging. So no matter how big you make your doily, you can still do the edging. It'll work out perfectly because of the way the pattern's been designed. So you just want to make sure that you're repeating six and seven, but always ending on a round six. One of the reasons I mentioned modifying this pattern is because I think that this would be an excellent candidate for making a beautiful circular shawl. So if you wanted to repeat these rounds to make this, oh, I don't know, maybe 64 inches in diameter or 72 inches in diameter, I think it could be a really stunning circular shawl as well. All right, we're ready to begin the edging, which is done over three rounds. And the first round of the edging begins with a chain one, and single crochet in the same stitch, chain four, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain four, single crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, treble crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, treble crochet in the same double crochet, chain one, treble again in that same stitch. We'll do this a total of six times. Okay, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, chain one, and then single crochet in the next double crochet, chain four, single crochet in the next double crochet, and chain four. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And that's what the first round of the edging should look like. The second round of the edging begins with a chain one and single crochet in the same stitch, chain four, single crochet in the next single crochet, chain two, treble crochet in the next treble crochet, chain two, treble crochet in the next treble crochet. Then in the next treble crochet, we'll work chain two treble crochet two times. Then in the next treble crochet, we'll work chain two treble crochet two times. And in the next treble crochet, we'll work chain two treble crochet. And in the next treble crochet, we'll work chain two treble crochet. Chain two and single crochet in the next single crochet. And you want to repeat this 
all the way around. At the end of the round, we'll slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And that's what the second round of the edging should look like. The third round of the edging begins with a chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. Then we'll work four double treble crochets in the next chain two space. Yarn over three times, insert your crochet hook in the space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, through two, through two, and through two. That's a double treble crochet. We'll do it one more time. Yarn over three times, insert your hook in the specified space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, through two, through two, and through two. And we'll do four double treble crochets in each of the next nine chain two spaces. Okay, skip the next single crochet in the next chain four space and single crochet in the next single crochet. And we'll repeat this all the way around. The last round of the edging can be worked with or without beads. I'm gonna show you how to do it without beads first. If you wanted to use beads, you would fasten off and string your beads on first, but we'll do that in our, in our second repeat. For the first repeat, we'll do it without beads because you, it'd be pretty either way. It doesn't, I mean, you could do it either way. So a chain one and single crochet in the first stitch, chain five, and a three treble crochet cluster in that same stitch. So it's yarn over twice, insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we'll do that two more times. Yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more time. We now have four loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops on our hook. So now we're going to skip the first four stitches and single crochet in the space before the next stitch. We'll do that again, chain five, and a three double crochet cluster in the same space. Yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Whoops, we'll do that again, yarn over twice, Insert your hook in the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do that two more times. Yarn over, pull through all four loops on our hook. And then skip the next four stitches and single crochet in the space before the next stitch. And we'll work, do this across the entire scallop Okay, we're gonna use some six millimeter fire polish beads and I'm going to thread my yarn onto the beading needle and then string some beads onto the yarn with the beading needle. Okay, so next we'll remove the beading needle from our yarn. And then tie our yarn back to our crochet hook. Then we'll come back to where we fastened off and slip stitch into that same stitch to join. Chain one, single crochet in the same space. 
Okay, so the repeat was a chain five and three treble crochet cluster in the same stitch. We're going to be placing the beads in the center chain of the chain five or the chain, the third chain. So we'll chain two and then we're going to slide a bead up to the throat of the crochet hook, nice and snug. Get these tails out of the way. Okay, we did a chain two. We're going to slide the bead right up to our crochet hook and do a chain one with the bead. Then two more chains. So it was chain two, bead chain one, chain two, which is the equivalent of chain five. Then we'll work our two treble cluster or three treble crochet cluster in that same stitch. Yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook and skip the next four treble crochets and single crochet in the space before the next stitch. So we're doing exactly the same thing as we did in the previous repeat. The only difference is we're putting a bead into the center of that chain five space at the beginning. So where these chain fives are, that third chain will always now have a bead. So we'll do this one more time. Chain two, slide a bead up, Bead chain one, chain two, there's our chain five now, and then we'll do a three treble crochet cluster in the same stitch. And skip the next four double treble crochets and single crochet in the next stitch. And so you're going to now repeat this all the way around. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. And don't forget, all the links from the things that we talked about in this video are available in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.